Let's get ready to smoke, but you can't have smoke without fire. Lighting your smoker can be done in numerous ways, yet no matter how you choose to light your smoker, safety should always come first. Fire needs oxygen, so fully open the air intake valve, as well as the smokestack damper to allow adequate airflow. Our vault and safe smokers use roughly one pound of charcoal or fuel to adequately cook 10 pounds of meat. Remember, this all depends on the amount of meat which will be cooked and the desired cooking temperature. Using charcoal briquettes is an excellent base for your fire. We prefer not to use any charcoal with lighting fuel additives as they tend to burn at a higher rate. You're going to want to build your charcoal in L-shaped pattern or a U-shaped pattern for longer burn times. Begin your fuel pattern at the air damper and finish at the back of the fire grate. We recommend loading a few pounds of fuel to get started. Before we light your charcoal, you're going to want to preheat your cooking chamber for 7 to 10 minutes, depending on how cold it is. Here at Pitmaker, we prefer to preheat the cooking chamber with a torch. Be sure to read any and all torch instructions thoroughly before using that particular torch. Using a torch is not only a faster approach, but it allows the cooking chamber to reach your desired temperature without burning too much fuel at the start. Once you've safely lit your torch, you will begin by preheating the walls of your smoker. Be sure to continue moving the torch at a moderate rate and never rest the flame in the same spot. It is best to start from the top of the cooking chamber and work your way down. Continue using a consistent sweeping motion and be sure to focus on the walls while not forgetting the cooking racks. Not only will this help preheat your smoker, but this will also help sanitize your cooking chamber. You're going to want to preheat your smoker to within 25 degrees of your desired cooking temperature. Start at the corner closest to the air damper when lighting your charcoal or fuel. Only light about 10 to 15% of the pile closest to the air damper. Then you can place a small split of wood as shown, or one to two fist sized chunks directly on top of the lit coals to provide smoke over time. Now you're ready to cook. Please remember that the amount of fuel needed will depend on the amount of meat you're intending to cook, as well as your desired cooking temperature. 